going back to what you can do for your autistic child, you can do a number of things. But of course, the most important thing is to positively, emotionally encourage them. And, try, and give them hugs anyway, even if they don't want it. They will feel the love eventually, because I know I have. My mom never stopped hugging me. Another thing you can do with them is floor time. You get on the floor, you play with them. You should build Lego sets. I had my own city made out of Legos. It was a very big city, too. It was pretty much an early version of my city of Quickville. I housed my electric hedgehog, Sanchu, and Rose Chu in, in the comics I had drawn. I put all the bricks and pieces in the boxes under here, but they were over there on the other side of my room. One big city. It was massive. It was great. You can, and of course, there's also therapy, psychiatry, and special autism places. I highly encourage mainstreaming them. Letting them be nor letting them try to fit in with the normal places like high like high school and middle school. I fit in perfectly after I I so did. But never ever send them to a mental institution. It's just wrong. It's a dark, evil place. I was almost forced into there once, but my parents would not have it. Anyway, on a more modern interest note, according to the uh, Wikipedia article, the internet helps autistic individuals bypass nonverbal cues and emotional sharing they find hard to deal with. They also apparently formed online communities and work remotely. Listen, from extended personal experience with internet socializing, I can tell you the truth of the internet. There are a lot of sick-minded Twisted, evil, dark, sloppy, gross, weird individuals out there. And you can never tell who they are from anybody else because they hide behind the mother skirts of a nominee that is also known as the Internet. They go online talking to random people, deceiving, tricking, blackmailing. Just so they can drag our clear, they so they can drag our once clear names through the worst mud, blood, and bodily fluids. It makes me sick. Ugh. They are ungrateful, immature. They need to grow up. But it, they even range from the young, the teenage, even some adults. I swear. I had my own website for my Sancha comics. But then they hacked in them and took it away. I grabbed it back, but after a while, I got tired of it, so I took the websites down myself. <sighs> I also have my own MySpace and Facebook. Gone. They can hack your computers, your game consoles, laptops, cell phones, and maybe even your iPods. They just do not let up. I have been a victim of their ways. I never, I never socialize online again. And I screen my phone calls. I hardly ever answer my phone anymore. And I am emotionally damaged by them. It's just pitiful, horrifying. Online gaming, on the other hand, is different. The other players, they just come and go while I accomplish my video game goals. No friendships are made, and information searches and shopping online is fine. It is the social websites like Facebook and MySpace that are travesties. The only way to socialize is in real life. Fellow autistic people, I encourage you to man and woman up respectively. Go out into the real world and make real friends with full, great quality friendships. Do it now! Socializing tips and also a little bit more history on myself to be revealed in the, follow in the following parts in the remainder of this tutorial. So stay tuned. Thank you.